Our team coverage continues now with 10 on your side's Andy Fox. And Andy, you learned a lot more about the pilot in this crash throughout the course of the day. Yeah, Tom and Nicole, we learned that Mike Buxton had some difficulty actually flying to Florida last week. He fought strong headwinds, according to a friend. The same friend called Buxton, who is a clinical psychologist, a fighter who fought for war veterans, helping them and also helping children with special needs. One of the last known pictures of Michael Buxton on his 32-foot boat called Bigger Dream. Tuesday, he spoke with longtime friend Sean Devlin. He was feeding water to the manatees with a hose. That was the first thing we talked about. Wednesday morning, he died in this plane crash along with two school friends from Buffalo. A car with New York tags still in the front yard of the home he shared with Debbie Childs and her daughter Jamie and Jamie's child. Jamie didn't want to do an on-camera interview but told us Mike cared about everyone and fought for everyone. He didn't want students to fall through the cracks. He fought for me. I remember when he first took me flying over Norfolk. It was indescribable. And when the community protested tolls on the tunnels, Buxton became a plaintiff in the lawsuit to stop those tolls. Buxton's friend, Bill Watts. He was there uh, with his time and his money. He was a big contributor. and. Uh, he, Mike's an outspoken person. He cares about the community. Buxton was a clinical psychologist at his office today. A note, due to unforeseen circumstances, Dr. Buxton's office is closed until further notice. Buxton fought for children with special needs. He did whatever it took because he special needs children couldn't get the care that they needed and deserved. And he was fir first and foremost there. And, and at times he would have to go to the court. And most of the time he was successful at obtaining the care that these children needed. That voice of advocacy, of care, and of love for children at risk, now gone. You always hear about people getting killed in planes, but you don't know them, and then when it's one of your good friends, it's a real, it really sets you back. Yes, yeah, a sad, sad day indeed. The news today of Mike Buxton's death is a setback for many, and there is unbearable, and let's not forget this, unspeakable grief in New York for the two passengers from New York who have not yet been officially identified who were on the plane with Mike. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.